Uh, the guys came out, played with excellent effort, a lot of heart. You know, um, you know, just staying together. That's all we've been preaching about. Just, just playing together, playing together, unselfishness. You know, and just being competitive as a, as a team, not just one or two people, but everybody, everybody. So it was a, it was a great win tonight. As we head towards the end of the season, how is this team preparing itself for the full season? Um, just, just taking every game that we got, you know, that's a, that's ahead of us. You know, we're gonna concentrate on that team first and handle our business and, and follow game plan and, and follow the strategy all the way through. Um, we just keeping our head on straight because we, I mean, we know that we can possibly make a deep run as long as we continue to do what we do. So we just, we just preparing like we usually do, practicing hard, practicing hard every single day. You know, no days off, and we just going out there. Coach, what impressed you most about tonight's win? The way you won or the way you play defense? Uh, the way we play defense. The way we play defense that, you know, the guys is really starting to understand where they belong at and positioning to the ball, um, you know, being even up below the ball at all times, seeing a man at all times, even people cutting through, they talking, they talking constantly, constantly, con constantly, and, um, you know, the communication, is, the communication is just great, and we learn a lot from each other as a team because we see that, you know, nobody's bigger than this team. You know, we all have to do it collectively. Coach, um, you know, last year this time you guys were favorite, uh, one of the favorite, top favorites to get to Richmond, but you had a first round stumble. How have you righted those wrongs from last year? Uh, we just focus on um, just just doing the right thing and do what you do best and make you successful. We're not trying to play for no. We're not trying to play for no scouts. We're not playing for no recruits. We're not playing for for, for people in Norfolk. We're playing for each other, and that's all that should matter at the end of the day. And that's what we keep talking about because the guys are hungry. The guys are hungry, but my thing is, I, I'm teaching them from the mental part of the game. The mental part is starting to pick up with them and understand that you just can't step on the court and just beat somebody by talent. Your mind. Mind has to be your mind has to be right and be focused every single day. It looks like on this schedule in the Eastern District, the toughest challenge you have next before you end the season is Grand. Last time you were in this building, you guys jumped out on them, but late night, but uh, towards the end of the game, quick shots and no second chance points really hurt you guys. Right. How do you plan on reversing that when you see them in a couple weeks at home? Uh, just just finishing the game. You know when when we played them and we was up. We kind of checked out. We thought the game was over before it was really over. You know, when we seen the fans and stuff start walking out of the gym, our minds went with them. So, you know, our whole focus has been finish, 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 finish. Even in practice, we finishing all the way to the end. There's no let up. There's no let up. We don't have time to let up because I remind them every single time we start letting them practice. You know what happened to you. You know what happened to you last year. When you let up, that's how you get got. So our main focus is just being headstrong.